and welcome back. So five years after the launch of the Chinese-funded Standard Gauge Railway, which linked the Kenyan capital Nairobi to the port city of Mombasa, passengers traveling between the two cities have significantly reduced from 10 to 4 hours, whereas the freight trains complete the journey in less than 8 hours. Well, it is the growth of towns along the railway line that has seen residents living along the corridor benefit the most since its launch on the 31st of May 2017. Faisal Ahmed traveled along the corridor speaking to the residents on what their experience has been since the modern train began operations. After it was commissioned by retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, the standard gauge railway was touted to be a game changer in the transport industry as it was expected to reduce travel times between the port city of Mombasa and Nairobi. Towns along the corridor benefited massively during the construction of the railway line with many residents getting jobs on site. However, we travelled back to find out how they are faring five years after the project was commissioned. For some smaller towns around the transit corridor between Nairobi and Mombasa, their fortunes are yet to change with the SGR being here for the last five years. However, for some towns like Kibwezi, Emali and Voi, their fortunes have changed over the last five years, with residents there saying that the town has grown exponentially. This is a Mali town. It's a few minutes before the first train of the day arrives at the station. Passengers traveling to Nairobi are waiting for the train. But before it gets on, we caught up with Pius Mule, a resident of Emali, to understand why he prefers using the SGR over road transport and if the train has had any effects on the town. One and a half hours to Nairobi. Yangalia ta easy mijengo asikuwa before the SDR jengo easy mijengo mingi asikuwa. So uh, it has aided us in our journey to Mali. Kitu ingine it has brought employment to the local people. Uki angalia watu engi apa ni marafiki ata ni mepata na jamamgi na wakwetu aliandi kwa security. Bibiake ni security kuna miona kuna engi na wakuosha wanyumbani. Naza kuja kutoka apa Mali uende Nairobi na urudi. So kama we ni mfanyi biashara wa hapa, unaweza toka hapa, uende mali yako ni Nairobi, ukitumia SGR, na urudi nayo, unakuja ufungue nduka yako, na watu wengi wameprefa wa SGR na aso wafanyi biashara wa hapa imali. Some 204 kilometers away from Emali town is Voi. Here we see a more vibrant town with many businesses operating. We met up with Anne Wamboy who operates an electronics shop. So Nafika Nairobi nafanya shopping na antarudi the, the same same day na barabara. So imenraisisha kazi kundana kurudi ya nista waste time. This is where the journey of the standard gauge railway terminates, the port of Mombasa. Stakeholders at the port are happy with the recent pronouncements by President William Ruto to revert port operations back to Mombasa from Naivasha. Clearing and forwarding agents here say that this will provide importers with the options when it comes to selecting the mode of transport for their cargo. SGR and the trucking company, they can coexist together because clients now have options and that is what we need. We need options and uh, as clients also, they feel that uh, the right of them having that option was taken away from them and uh, it's back. So we thank the Excellency the President for returning the operations support to Mombasa. Kenya Standard Gauge Railway trains ferried 1.74 million passengers in the first nine months of 2022, up more than a quarter as compared to the same period last year. This according to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. However, according to economist Reginald Kazutsu, there is more that needs to be done by the government to ensure operational efficiencies when it comes to the train service. Did it improve efficiency in clearing your goods? That means from the point your goods land and the 
point your goods reach to your shop. Um, I, I don't think it is done that. We had a case where President Uhuru had gone to the inland Nairobi inland um, container depot ICD uh, to try and fast track things being released. Um, so the inefficiencies in the administration of um, cargo and riches, clearing it, um, going through inspections that have already been done. Uh, we've had the current uh, trade minister uh, cry why why are we double doing work that has already been done at the point of uh, of origin um so it did not improve efficiency when we we, we come to to do that on in october 2022 the then incoming transport cabinet secretary kipchumba murkomen told the parliamentary committee that kenya would be seeking to renegotiate the sgr loan of 5 billion us dollars or 616 billion shillings because the 20 year repayment period was simply unsustainable in the same month, a section of the media reported that Kenya had been fined by Chinese banks 1.312 billion shillings in the year ended June for loan defaults. As the Standard Gauge Railway marks its fifth anniversary, Kenyans, not only the ones living along the line, are optimistic that their fortunes will change for the better. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.